This time of year, there are stories about families that tug at the heartstrings and bring us hope. This is the story of Bryn and Zeke, two siblings who have seen much in their short lives and are leaning on family and attitude every day. To see this seems ordinary. Bryn is one of many playing basketball for a freshman team this winter. But this is actually extraordinary because this is Bryn this past summer. It started simple enough. I was, you know, shaving my leg and it just became like I couldn't feel it on my leg. Eventually, there was a diagnosis. When I got an MRI done on my back, it, I found like little syrinx in my spine. They then, you know, diagnosed me with Chiari malformation one. It required brain surgery and 90 some stitches in her head. But what it could not do was take away her love for basketball. And so came the process from a wheelchair to a walker with a goal to play the game again. I just did tons of PT in the hospital. Then began the challenge of getting back, running outdoors, challenging herself, going to the basement to do anything she could to return to her playground with her team. And now you know why seeing her this winter in uniform means so much to see a daughter with the ultimate rebound. I'm just happy she's out here. I mean, three months ago compared to where she was then to now, I mean, it just it brings emotions like of how hard she has worked in just this short time. He raises her with his first wife, Shelly, who is now married to Isaac Roosevelt. All are amazed that she is here playing basketball. Yes, that game she loves, surrounded by the people that love her. Absolutely amazing. I mean, leading up to the week of tryouts, we didn't even know if she would. That was the first week she came back to playing competitively. Sitting with Shelly and Isaac is their own son, Zeke. And he changes everything in this story. Where's your sister? Uh -huh. Zeke is three years old, and you might note in a wheelchair, might be for life. Was in the hospital for a couple months after being born, um, which was not what anyone really expects. You know, you expect to bring your kid home. He was born with a rare gene mutation that has created an uncertain future. There is certainty, however, in the perspective he has provided his older sister. He, like, realizing, like, what it felt to be in a wheelchair for just only, like, two weeks, and then he has to be like that for, like, almost probably the rest of his life. So it's, like, sad to think about. What they won't do is sell Zeke short. His father was a basketball star at the University of St. Thomas and played 10 years professionally in Israel. He has provided metaphors for the two children. Basketball is, I mean, it's a very similar situation where you don't know what to expect. You're kind of doing things on the fly and you've got to adjust. But what this family refuses to do is feel sorry for itself. In fact, mom sees these past three years as a blessing. I haven't been happier in life, so like it's... So you don't feel sorry for yourself? No, 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 we're not, not at all the victim. <laughs> Maybe it's easier to believe when you can see a daughter just trying to use a walker, then a few months later can be playing in a competitive game. You do feel blessed. It's her level of just dedication and work ethic for her. It's, I'm just happy she's out here. I mean, three months ago compared to where she was then to now. And when a younger brother can remind us that attitude trumps circumstance, you do feel it. The spirit of the human spirit. Kind of makes you realize things can always be worse. It makes you be thankful for like the small things. Um, you know, he might not ever walk again, but his personality is amazing and he makes us all laugh. And I mean, I wouldn't trade that for anything either. Yeah, that is something. Just his smile is infectious watching on TV, isn't it? Cute as can be. That's a lot of perspective for young people and a young family. Yes, it is. Yeah. And they're getting through it because of attitude.